The honorable leaders under the aegis of Yoruba Summit have announced their rejection of the federal government's proposal to establish cattle colonies for animal herders across the country. Sahara Reporters reports that they also called on the federal government to declare the herdsmen as terrorists. We gathered that the decision to reject the proposal was taken at an extraordinary session in Lagos on Thursday, January 25. According to a statement signed on behalf of the group by Yinka Odemekin, the rejection was informed by the repeated criminal activities of herdsmen across Yoruba Island, which have seen a pregnant woman in Ikiti and a farmer in Ogun State killed as well as the setting ablaze of the farms of Lufali. Former Secretary to the Federal Government, former Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Samuel Afolayan, read. Semi Colon de la Digun, former Secretary to the Oyo State Government, and Rose Lineage. These renewed attacks on Yoruba property and persons were considered unwarranted, provocative, and brutal assault by marauding elements, who now carry on as if the laws of the country have been suspended on their behalf by complicit authorities, the statement said. The leaders condemned the attacks and called on the federal government to live up to its responsibility by enforcing the laws against the perpetrators to regain the confidence of the people. They argued that setting up cattle colonies amounted to aiding private business enterprise in violation of the sensibilities of different nationalities, whose lands will be partitioned for Fulani herdsmen. The Yoruba summit said the proposal is akin to the Berlin Conference at which Africa was portioned for different colonial powers. No inch of Yoruba land will be available for cow colony, as the Yoruba are in favor of only ranching of cattle through which those in such business will acquire land according to extant rules and subject their operations to the norms and culture of their host communities, the statement said. The leaders equally called on Yoruba people to begin venturing into modern ranching for home consumption and export, while urging governments of states in the southwest to evolve policies in promotion of ranching by Yoruba people. In addition, the Yoruba leaders asked the federal government to declare killer herdsmen and militias as terrorists, disarm them stop illegal immigration of armed herders and others into Nigeria through the far northern and northwestern borders of Nigeria. Their demands from the federal government also included an inquiry into the serial cases of illegal weapons discovered at the Lagos ports, saying they oppose serious challenge to the country's security. The demands, they said, will bring an end to the threats of the Fulani herdsmen and return the county to the modern governance. In attendance at the meeting, presided over by Chief Ayoad Banjo, or Professor Banji Akinto, Dr. Ramos A. King, Dr. Khan Lolajide, Femi Akaraun Mu, Dr. Takan Boa Dasamu, Dr. Aliskan Mimiko, Kofo Buckner A. Kral, Go Kamisor. Chief Saposona Bear, Dr. Femi Yadgok, Oladi Poolaitan, Deji Ozabalgun, Takunbo E. Kukanam and Bolaji Ogunsai among others. Meanwhile, we had previously reported that the former Secretary General of Federation, Alofali, has warned that there is no room for cattle colonies in the southwest region. Fali said he will work with leaders from the southwest to ensure that no single colony is created in the region. <laughs>